of Zion shall say, no, you will not come and rape us as you have in the past. Babylon, you will not exist in our schools and in our legal system. The Babylonian spirit shall be brought to nothing. And Jezebel herself shall be down on her knees, says the Lord. Jezebel herself shall be down on her knees, says the Holy One. And Jezebel herself shall be down on her knees, says the Spirit of the living God. For I have tolerated enough. And now God says, allow me to give you a four-year period period of an extension of grace an economy of grace has existed but now God says there is going to be an overabundance of grace that's going to be granted to your children and to your children's children watch and see says the Lord I'll take them out of darkness put light into them and send them back to darkness and they will go as the lunatic that was delivered by Jesus and Jesus told him to go back he was the first one that was set aside as a missionary in that place God says I'm raising up a whole troop of missionaries out of your children I'm raising up missionaries they're gonna go into the culture and they're gonna take Babylon and say you submit to us we don't submit to you the Daniels of this hour shall look at the King Nebuchadnezzar and the King Darius and they shall say no we will prove to you that our God is the only God watch me says the Lord as I take the atheists and the agnostics and prove myself because the angel that has come to reveal the mystery as in Revelation 10 it has been spoken says the Lord that there is an angel that says we have blown the trumpet the final trumpet now the mystery that was spoken by the prophets of old shall be opened up for this generation to hear the secrets of God and take the kingdom by force, says the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and praise Him. Hallelujah. And it shall come to pass that the news media shall change drastically. Hear what the Lord says, church. The news media shall change drastically. TVN shall change drastically. There will be a change of face and a new name added to Trinity Broadcasting Network. They will not hold on to the old. They will not hold on to the old only, but they will have the old and the new and shall combine them together. No more dullness to the youth of this day. For God says, I'm going to raise up one that shall take the youth by force. But it shall not be called Trinity Broadcasting Network. It shall be called something else. And then another one shall rise up, says the Spirit of God. The young men of this hour shall become like the Joshua's and the Moses of this hour. For you see, God says, Moses' prayer was more scary and more powerful than Joshua's fighting. Joshua never grew, grew, grew weary of fighting, but Moses grew weary of praying. For God says, my people have grown weary of praying. The arms have fallen down to the ground, and the priests have lifted them up. But God said, Moses grew weary in prayer, but Joshua did not grow weary in battle. This generation shall go into battle against the faithless generation and a perverse generation. But God said, the old order shall hold up the arms and they will pray and when they get tired of praying lift the arms up and allow them to keep the arms extended but as long as the old generation drops their hands and stops praying then the generation of Joshua shall stop winning the battles do you want to win the battle says the Lord do you want to? Then God said, I will take away the lethargy of the old. I will take away the Eli priest. And there will be deaths. There will be deaths over the summer. But God said, do not fear. Because I'm taking out the old order. And I'm taking those that are in the, in, in the temple. And corrupting them with, with adulterous actions. And what they are doing in the temple has brought an odor to me, says the Lord. I will remove them. But Samuel shall arise. David shall arise, Daniel shall arise, Esther shall arise and God says these will infiltrate the entire system and God says but the old order is precious to me I will take TBN, I will take some of the old and the glorious ones and I will cause them to hold up their arms if their arms are lowered the Joshua's will stop winning the battle, God said 
it's not time to stop praying. It's not time to stop fasting. It's not time. It's time for you to hold up your arms so the battle can be won, says the Lord. Come on. Lift your hands up. Hallelujah. A miracle shall happen in the banking and the stock exchange. Look to the months of August, September, and October. Watch the oil. For God says it's gone high, 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 lower, lower, lower. But God says that he's playing a yo-yo game with you. Satan has a yo-yo. He says, listen, they listening to everything I'm saying. But God said it's going to change. It'll change because Greenspan shall go. For God says there is something different that shall come in its place. And there will be an economic revival for this nation. And you will not need the Middle East. You will not need the oil. You will not need them. For God says it shall be in the soil of this nation that I will raise up my miraculous throne. Come on. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. Do not say it is time for the old to be taken care of. No, I'm going to take care of those that have not listened. And some of them need to lay down their sword so a younger man can pick it up. Elijah is going to be taken up. Elijah's going to go in a whirlwind. He's going to be taken up. But Elisha shall arise. These are young prophets and apostles. These are young entertainers and sportsmen. This is the news media, entertainment industry, political industry, kingdom of sports that I shall take by my hand and the kingdom shall be in each one of these. But the greatest kingdom to be invaded, says the Lord, is the family. The family of the United States of America shall be restored. Enough of this divorce. Enough of this putting away of each other. God says, enough of it. Now, I'll raise up the family. And when I raise up the family, God said, there will be health and wealth in this nation. Would you give God a shout of praise as he speaks these words? take exactly what I said and make it happen, says the Lord. An economic revival is on its way. As I take these kingdoms into my hand, I shall take the sword and Elisha shall walk up to the same Jordan that was crossed over before. And God says he will say, where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of Billy Graham? Where is the God of Oral Roberts? Where is the God of the greats of yesterday? For God says these men have already been accompanied by angels angels to bring them into my presence at this papal discussion God said there will also be confusion but God said the Catholic Church shall be known as mine for I am about to take the paracletos I'm about to take the paracletos I'm about to take the paracletos and give it to them says the Lord I speak of my Holy Spirit I speak of the Holy Spirit shall be given to the Roman Catholic Church God God said, I will put in the papal and into the Pope a spirit of jealousy. For God said he will be jealous and he will say, God must be God. And they will say, you cannot change it. It's going to stay the way it is. But you watch, says the Lord, over a three-year period, how I will change things. And they will say, there is only one God. There is only one saint. There is only one God. And he is the Lord Jesus Christ. For this shall be a miraculous invasion of millions of people that shall be taken care of. I will move to South America. I will move in Italy. I will move in France when they repent for the disgusting thing that they have done. For God says in the United Nations, I will pinpoint Russia and I will pinpoint France. And I will pull their pants down and show them the nakedness to the world. For they have played with this nation. They have played with this nation and they have said, we will bring to shame this nation. But God said, now I will shake the United Nations and God says, I will abolish it. I will abolish it for it has done nothing but steal and bring corruption into this nation. They have taken, they, 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 ah, 
The United Nations has housed Judas. The United Nations has housed Judas. And now I have taken Judas out and I'm revealing the lie. I shall abolish the United Nations. But God says the only thing that I shall keep is the refugee, the refugee economy. In other words, I'm going to take care of the refugees. I'm going to take care of nations financially. That and another one shall also exist. But there shall be no more United Nations. I will raise up a spiritual force that will take care of it. And you know what that force is? It's my church. Because my church is supposed to bring unity. My church is supposed to bring finances. And the economy is going to change. Because I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Says the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up. I will expose France, I will expose Russia, and men, the citizens of this nation that have acted the whore, I will bring them out. And then there will be one political upheaval after the other, because I placed a prophet in the White House. Not a president, a prophet who has stood the test of time and he's exposing all of this without him even knowing it his anointing is exposing every corruption his anointing is exposing corruption and america shall rid itself says the lord of leeches that take and they give nothing back citizens who are not citizens but enemies of this nation let the prophet speak tonight in nashville tennessee you have allowed him to you have said Celebrated. Now God said, I've sent angels to watch over your children. I've sent angels that will remove brain tumors. I've sent angels that will stop the divorce and that will stop the breakups and bring the children into a healthy economy. Says the Lord. Come on. Come on, everybody. Give them a shout of praise. Come on. 